it was a special story, I must tell you. Because uh, we had a wonderful orchestra, of course, New York Philharmonic, everybody knows. But at that time came two new first viola players, two soloists, Cynthia Phelps and uh, Rebecca Young. Rebecca and I have had such a wonderful relationship with Kurt Mazur, and um, I think that over the years his wife has enjoyed seeing our friendship and watching us uh, respond to him, and she really wanted to commission a concerto to be written for us, and so she actually took the initiative, and we were called up to Maestro Mazur's office one night in between um, the first and second half, and we were petrified. We thought, oh no, we're fooling around too much. We're really going to get in trouble now. <laughs> and it was actually to tell us that she was commissioning a work for us. It was composed by Gubay Dolina, just in the imagination. And this is a wonderful humanistic story because Gubay Dolina is a one part very humanistic, and the other part also very religious. The story of that piece is uh, the story from the Bible of Lazarus, Mary and Martha. The both sisters, Martha and Mary, helped him. One of them was more caring for his soul. The other one was more practical, and she cared for the food and for everything, for the welfare of, of, of them all. Who by Dolina didn't know the both ladies. She only had her idea, and then we found out that it was easy to decide for us who should be who. My character is, is more heavenly and ethereal. I play very high up on the instrument. Rebecca is very earthbound, and she, she exploits the lower region uh, of the viola, so I, I feel that it ended up being very successful in that way. You can hear in that composition how go by Dolin, I have the imagination that one of the viola can go to heaven while the other is always down there and being active and also warm hearting in the expression. I'm uh, very, very happy about this piece because it has a meaning. It's not only a virtuous piece for two viola players, which could be also excitingly good, but it is uh, music where you think about it, even if you have heard it before, not to say, okay, they played very beautiful, but you are touched by it. As a new listener to this piece, it would be important to be really open and listen for the, the different sounds of the viola. I mean, it really uses the colors of the instrument so well, and that's a rare thing. Rebecca and I are very much looking forward to playing this piece again. Uh, we had a nice run of performances a number of years ago when Maestro Mazur was still our music director. We played it on tour in Europe, and we played it in Carnegie Hall here, and we played it in St. John the Divine. So we've had a really nice history of many successful performances, but we haven't played it in a few years, so I'm looking forward to coming back to it, to revisiting it, to maybe reinterpreting it in some different way. It has a lot of rich material to work with, so I think we're both very excited to make it come alive again.